Hi there, this is Derivative 4 Examples, and I'm just going to give a few examples of the product rule. So let's write up the product rule, that way we remember it and we can reference it pretty much the entire time. So f of x times g of x, and that derivative would be, derivative would be f prime of x, g, x, plus f of x, g prime of x. So, very fairly simple. I'm going to cloud it just because I like clouds. I do too. So, let's work out uh, a little system here. We'll have the problem. We'll have, uh, let's say, the breakdown. I'm going to call it the breakdown. I don't know if that's one word or two, but you get the idea. Solution. Snap. So, y equals x squared e of x. Okay? I'm just starting off with something fairly simple. Notice that we have our f, which is going to be x squared. So then f prime is going to equal 2x, just like before, right? Well then, your g is e of x, g prime is also e of x. So, then we just essentially plug it into our little cloud equation. y prime is equal to f of x, or I mean, uh, f prime, which is 2x, right? Times g, which is e of x, plus f of x, which is x squared, and then e of x again. So y prime is really equal to x squared plus 2x all multiplied by e to the x. That's just simplified a little bit. Let's do another example. Um, something a little bit more hairy. y equals, uh, let's say, the square root of x uh, times e to the x again. Just to keep it simple. So f is equal to x to one, pow one half power f prime will equal one half x to the negative one half. g is equal to e to the x power and so is g prime. Plug and chug baby. Plug and chug. What's your f prime? That's going to equal one half x to the negative one half power times the g which is going to be e to the x plus, uh, then you have your x to the one-half power times e to the x. When we run that through and simplify that out, uh, really I should let you be doing this, but I'll do this last one. x to the negative one-half power plus x to the one-half the x. So, fairly simple, um, pretty pretty complex equation, but, um, you know, just through the systematic approach that we have, we can pretty much break down anything that we want. Um, now, as I mentioned before, that you can break down some things that would require, that look really different, like, say, this example, which is y e to the x power over x squared. Now, f... Wait, let me just write that down. What, it, what we can just convert that so that we can use the product rule. This is the same thing as e to the x times x to the negative 2 power. x to the negative 2 power. Which, then we just freaking break it down again, right? f equals e to the x f prime equals e to the x, g is equal to x to the negative 2, and g prime is equal to negative 2 x to the negative 3. So, then we just systematically do it again. y prime is equal to f prime, which is e to the x, um, e to the x, sorry, 
times g, which is going to be x to the negative 2, plus, sorry, there's a little bit, I'm going to drop down to the next line here, e to the x times g prime, which is negative 2 e, or x to the negative 3. So, y prime is equal to x squared minus 2x to the negative 3 all e to the x power. So, the simplifying is actually where a majority of you will be making your mistakes. So, um, let me just break down one more situation. Um, here's one that's a little bit more complex. Might catch you a little off guard, but uh, y equals 2x cubed plus 3 and x to the fourth power minus 2x. How about that? Well, while it looks big and complex, you don't need to multiply that whole thing out. We can just break it down systematically once again. 2x cubed plus 3 so f prime is equal to 6x g is equal to x to the fourth power minus 2x g prime is equal to 4x cubed minus 2 so simply y prime is going to equal f prime g, which is x to the fourth minus 2x, and then you have plus, then the exact opposite way, which is going to be f, 2x cubed plus 3, and times it by 4x cubed minus 2. So basically, I'm just going to let you kind of multiply that out and, and simplify it. But uh, realize that it's all just a, a, a system. You understand the system, you'll get the problems. Now, one thing I want you to remember is y equals uh, x cubed times x squared. While we can solve this with our product rule, well, the product rule will work. It will work. But look for an easier way. The biggest thing with, uh, with math is you always need to be looking out for an easier way to simplify things, make life easier for you. So notice that with this, y can just be simplified down to x to the fifth power, which we can just punch out real quick as 5x to the fourth power. Really simply quick, you just got to keep an eye out for that kind of stuff. It's the same in calculus as it was in algebra. Anyway, um, thank you for watching, and, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video.